All right, so you know that worst case potentiality I was talking about? Well. All right, so we just made it to Montana. I'm at a camping site and my car has been making a very bad sound for the past two hours. And I'm currently about an hour and a half from any sort of repair place, so could be worse, could be better. So I'm gonna hope for the best in the morning. Hope she starts up fine, gets me to the repair place and I can actually fix this issue. Don't love it. This is the harder part about living on the road. <laughs> All right, so I'm driving to Missoula, Montana. I still have like an hour drive. My car is not sounding great at all. I called a lot of car shops and they're all booked out like several weeks or months right now, which is terrible news. So I really have no idea what I'm gonna do. In the absolute middle of nowhere with no service right now. This is so awesome. All right, so you know that worst case potentiality I was talking about? Well, it happened. On the side of the interstate and my belt has completely disintegrated and is gone. And so my car cannot run. Super, super, super awesome. But the good news is I did just get service here on the side of the road. So I was able to contact AAA and they have a tow coming. Hopefully I can get to a shop that actually has someone who can fix this at a somewhat decent time frame. car has been dropped off at Firestone. Now I wait. Could be a very, very long time. Okay, really good news. I just got a call from the mechanic and they said they figured out what the problem is and they think they can get it fixed today, which is crazy. So I'm stoked. Okay, so as you can see, not back in my car in a hotel room because they couldn't finish the repairs today. They were so, so close. So I had to get a hotel room for the night and hopefully they resolve the issues in the morning. But heck, while I'm here, I get to enjoy all the luxuries that living out of a car does not provide. Like a shower, a real size bed, a television, a microwave, a sink, and an air conditioner. Oh, I am living luxuriously tonight. Okay, good morning. It is just after 8.30 and hoping I get a call soon from the auto shop so I can go pick up my car and get on my way. But uh, we shall see. Just got the call. Car is ready for pickup. Ah, uh, let's get it. Oh baby, we back. All right, back in my home. And now the moment of truth. Uh, the only thing is that it has ABS, service brake system, and my brake light on. I just went and asked and they told me they couldn't figure out why those lights were still indicating. Uh, hopefully it's not a big deal. We'll see. Okay, car is back, but I've got some brake warning signs and the brakes are not feeling great. And unfortunately Firestone said they didn't really know what was going on. So hopefully with some more driving they fix. And if not, I'm just gonna stop by a Ford dealer and hopefully they know what these warning signs mean. Oh boy at the old Ford dealer. Let us hope that they can figure out what is going on. Ford dealer was completely useless. They can't service a car of this age in a hybrid apparently. They don't have anyone that knows that stuff, which is really weird. And the guy was very clueless. So now I'm going to Les Schwab, I guess. <laughs> Fingers crossed they can do something. I don't know, just tell me what's wrong. Please just tell me, just tell me what's wrong. Ah. All right, you just dropped my car at Les Schwab. Hopefully they can fix the issue that the other shop introduced. Well, it seems like my good luck has run out yet again because this auto shop has now found issues with my brake hoses, which somehow the other shop didn't identify or caused. And now I'm probably gonna be stuck here another day or two. All well, that's enough sitting around. It's a beautiful day and it's time to see what Missoula has to offer. I was just thinking there's no way to get my car done today and I just saw them pull it into the shop. Les Schwab closes in 30 minutes, but my tires are off and there's someone working on my car. I don't know if I've ever been this nervously optimistic. Uh, 
Come on, guys. Come on. This is so unbelievably down to the wire. They ran out of time. The day's closed. Um, I was about to go leave and get some stuff out of the car, but they're going to try and lead the rear brakes because there's still some issues there. And they're going over time with this, so fingers freaking crossed. They were so close to getting the brakes done. They couldn't figure it out. They still feel terrible. They have no idea what's going on. I'm probably gonna miss my work assignment now and I'm not having fun anymore. Everything keeps seeming like there's a possibility and it just keeps letting me down. At a crappy motel, the only things around are fast food. I have no access to like most of the stuff in my car. It feels extremely sketchy to drive. I'm freaking done, man, I'm fucking done. It's day three. Just out here on my daily commute. Just got an update. They know what's wrong with my vehicle, but unfortunately my car turns out to be the hardest one ever created in existence to fix the issue that I have, which basically is a brake bleed recalibration sort of thing, which the first shop messed up by killing my battery. The mechanic looked very scared and concerned when he told me the procedure that he had to do to fix it. And it's possible it might just get the car completely stuck and unoperable. The odds? I don't know, not too great. I'm starting to look at rental cars, let's just say that. <laughs> Guess who's back? Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! Basically there was a super complicated procedure that they were gonna try that might have like disabled the car completely, but right before then the mechanic at Les Schwab came up to me and said, hey, I test out your brakes and they're actually feeling a lot better and all the warning lights are gone just miraculously. And I was like, uh. So I gave it a little test drive and it feels good. It didn't charge me that much. Freaking shout out Leshwab. You guys, you guys are the best. That's insane. The car just had to sit overnight. Come on, come back. It's time to go. I'm still trying to process this whole situation. Uh, the past three days have felt like a complete blur and I can't even believe that I'm actually back on the road, but despite how sucky this whole situation was, it was really valuable in a way and I think I learned a lot about myself through this process and I think I grew a lot through it as well. I truly got lucky in so many ways from the fact that I broke down with cell service, that I broke down pretty close to a decently sized city. I got so lucky that it only took three days to fix my car. At first going into it, I thought it might be a month because everything was fully booked out. I also learned that no matter how much you service your car, and I service this thing religiously as an older vehicle, it will always have issues and something will always go wrong despite it seeming perfect most of the time. But also if you hear a sound that doesn't sound great, yeah, maybe get it checked out sooner than later. And the best thing is that now I'm not even that late to a dream film shoot. So I am so stoked. Be back. Be back, baby.